There were once two girls, twins, in fact. The firstborn twin was a beautiful singer, and people would travel far and wide to hear her voice. The second-born twin, though, had been strangled by her birth cord. She survived, but her voice was raspy and harsh to the ear. She tried to play instruments, but in her hands they were rough like her own voice. One night, the first-born twin sang in front of a large crowd, and her voice caught the attention of a local nobleman's son. And they married in secret that very night. It so happened that the second-born twin had been in love with this man for a very long time, but was so nervous of her own voice, she had never said anything. When she heard of her sister's secret marriage to the nobleman's son, she flew into a fit of rage. The second-born twin murdered her sister and made a fiddle from her body. Heart strings became fiddle strings. Finger bones became pegs. The fingerboard was made of a spine and shoulder blade. And the body of the fiddle was made from the breastbone. The second-born twin hoped the fiddle would sound as beautiful in her hand as her sister's voice had sounded in life. But it was an ugly thing, in appearance and sound in the second-born's hand. She was too afraid to try and pretend to be her sister in front of the nobleman's son, should her voice give her away, so she made it seem as though a terrible beast had killed her twin. The twin's family grieved, their mother most of all, who was as beautiful with a fiddle as the first-born twin was with her voice. The family did not know what bones the fiddle was made from, and the mother insisted upon playing her sorrows away in her mother's hands, the bone fiddle was the most beautiful instrument in the land. And indeed, the whole land wept at the mournful sound of it. The nobleman's son, already stricken with grief, became so overcome at the sound that he took his own life. The sting of the bone fiddle's beauty in the hands of her mother was tormenting. Her sullen silence was taken for grief by those around her, but in her heart burned a silent fury. At the news of her secret love's death, though, the second-born twin's fury broke over like a dam in a flood. She killed her mother and made a fiddle bow from her body. Long gray hairs were tightened. Instead of wood, the twin used her mother's leg bone. And for the frog, the second-born twin used her own mother's wrist bones. The second-born twin played the bone fiddle and bow together, but they sounded even more hideous than before. The second-born twin was furious at the fickle instrument and left it in the graveyard to rot. The next day, when she came to curse her sister and mother's graves and to finally confess her love for the nobleman's son, the fiddle was gone. Unsettled, the second-born twin returned to her home, which was not far from the graves. That night, unsettling music came to the second-born twin. She asked her father if he could hear it but through quiet tears, he insisted he could not. She followed the music, though, and found herself again at the graves where two silver forms stood atop freshly turned soil. Ghostly visages, the second-born's mother and sister. They played the bone fiddle and sang in ghostly voice. The music was strange and came from a land of the dead, and it so distressed the second-born because the music was that of sadness and grief, but also understanding. And the second-born went mad hearing it, but another silver form stood also. He played no music, for it was the ghost of the nobleman's son. He had not known of the second-born's ill deeds, and his specter was fully upset by that knowledge. He demanded she repay the blood she had spilled with her own. And since the second-born loved the nobleman's son, she agreed and cut her own throat. None among the living knew why the second-born had taken her own life, or what had happened to her sister or mother. But to this day, some still claim to hear the sound of mournful music come from their graves. And even more rarely, a raspy and hoarse sob coming from the grave of the second-born twin.